Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review for you all. This movie is a horror film from the USA, English language, released in the year 2022, directed by Robbie Banfitch, and this film is called The Outwaters. So The Outwaters is about a group of friends. They're venturing out to the Mojave Desert because one of them is a music star and they're going to shoot a music video for her. So they go out there, they're having fun, they're drinking, uh, they're doing everything that you expect friends to do, and they're also taking amazing shots for this woman's uh, video. But then before long, they start to hear very strange noises, and each night that passes, the noise intensify leading up to an experience that they're never going to forget so what this experience is is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis now my thoughts on the outwaters the second half of this film is some of the most terrifying footage that I've seen in a horror film in a long time and that's saying something I know a lot of people might not agree with that a lot of people didn't like the outwaters but as far as I'm concerned this had everything that makes a horror film terrifying that is the visuals are very uh, you know, horrific visuals combined with a lot of vulnerability and that vulnerability is not being able to see those visuals very clearly and a lot of people hate that but for me not being able to see something clearly is not being able to have total control and we don't have total control that vulnerability is starting to intensify and so mixing that in with the stuff that you can see I thought it just created such a horror experience on so many dimensions on you've got the psychological aspect of horror and you've got the visceral sense of horror that I thought worked absolutely fantastically well the second half of this film is completely insane it has no real sense of you know traditional storytelling you don't know what the hell is going on but what you realize is that this is a nightmare the visuals I thought the sound effects the sound effects are the most impressive part of this film the sound effects really play well and it really shapes a monster inside your mind and I felt as though that vulnerability because of these uh, because of the sound I thought the vulnerability was just intensified to a point where I felt genuinely scared so the second half of this film it's extremely gory especially right at the end I thought was incredibly horrific and it's just everything that I want from a horror uh, and that is something that just makes you feel disgusted. It's something that makes you feel genuinely scared and sends the hairs on the back of your neck straight up. And so that's exactly what I got. This is a film that just doesn't really make any apologies for not being that standard storytelling. And that's something that I can really appreciate from this director is that he was actually trying something very confusing, very bizarre. And it would be easy just to recycle stuff that's been done in the past that's been popular. But it takes a lot of uh, guts and courage to really show a film that hasn't been done before a film that doesn't follow conventional storytelling and that's exactly what The Outwaters is. The second half of this film I thought was absolutely brilliant as far as a horror movie is concerned. So it is found footage so you're going to have to be very careful. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like found footage so if you're one of these people that say oh another found footage horror film you're not going to like this one and you're not really going to like the way that the found footage is used in the second half if you're one of those people that needs your hand held all the time. You need to know what's going on with every single scene. I thought this is a film that dares to be different and I thought that difference just created a whole new sense of terror and it's an indication that not all creativity is lost and so creativity is definitely this film's main point and it's definitely the driving force of what makes it such a scary experience so as I said right at the end of the film it just left me just it, it left me gobsmacked at how extreme it actually went and as I said that confusion really hits in with the extremity to make something that will make you think and actually make you want to go back and watch the horror set pieces again and so if you are a horror fan I would say check out this movie for the second half but unfortunately although the second half is so brilliant the first half is the complete opposite the first half of this film really lets it down so it's a two-hour movie I don't really understand why it was two hours because the first half of this film just went nowhere it was incredibly boring it was insufferable I thought the characters they weren't overly unlikable but they weren't interesting enough to carry the whole film now yes it may have been going for that sense of realism to show that this is a real case of your know, people who are going out to the desert just to shoot a music video and then things go wrong but it's if you want to see a movie on sheer realism that realism is going to bring a sense of boredom so ultimately if you want to sell a film you have to make it a theatrical film and unfortunately the first half of this movie just goes round and round in circles and it goes absolutely nowhere it takes about an hour and a half for this film to really get going and that is way too long and so if you are a horror fan you're going to want to watch the horror set pieces in this movie again but you're not going to want to watch the whole film and unfortunately there's a, uh, there are things that are left your interpretation in the second half of this movie that make you uh, have to go back and watch it again but unfortunately you just don't want to put up with the first half and say so, um, this is the most infuriating part of this film the second half is so good but the first half was so uh, such a letdown and so the characters weren't uh, yeah, as I said I, I, I didn't hate them 
but it just didn't have enough uh, energy and enough content in the first half of this movie to provide anything of use. So when the bad things are happening, I, I thought as though I was on a, a an endurance test with these people, but unfortunately it is the situational aspect of the horror, not because I really liked these people. I thought as though I was spending a lot of time with them, but they were very superficial and therefore I never really got a sense of evolution of character. So at the start of the movie, you know just about as much of them as you do when the horror starts to set in. And so they are cardboard cutouts. And so yes, the situational aspect of this movie is really, really good, but unfortunately, the movie's way too long to be that type of film. And so to be this type of film and to make this type of film work, you need interesting characters and interesting evolution of the character dynamics, which is not existent in this movie. So the first half of the film just goes absolutely nowhere. The second half is absolutely fantastic, but unfortunately, you can't rate a film a very good if it's just one half of a film that is uh, yeah, satisfactory, whereas the other half is definitely a letdown. So if I, I don't know why this is two hours, I have no idea. There was no self-awareness as far as the length of this film is concerned. If it was uh, just introduced to the characters, they went straight to the Mojave Desert and weird things happened, I thought the second half of this movie would have actually made it. And you don't really need to know about these people because, as I said, situational horror is putting you into that situation. And so you're not really caring about the characters as much, but you're actually thinking to yourself, of what this is feels like I'm actually right beside these people and so for a film like that to work you don't need that character development but in this movie the character development is not there but unfortunately for two hours most of it you just spend time just treading familiar territory and it's just over and over it does become very repetitive very very tiresome and unfortunately that is the reason why I was infuriated with this movie so the second half some of the best horror that you'll ever see the first half, some of the most boring, needless uh, stuff that you will ever see. And so when it combines together, you get a really inconsistent piece that was definitely a letdown because it had the capabilities of being an absolutely outstanding experience. And so overall, for the Outwaters, the second half of the film makes up for the really bad you know, first half. But unfortunately, as a whole piece, it just doesn't quite come together. Therefore, I'm going to give the Outwaters two and a half stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies. And I'll see you later. Bye.